Okay, then let's continue with the the report. Okay, uh, at the last video we had, we was uh, working with the the table, and in that table we are getting this information. <clears throat> then uh, we need to go to the sign again, and also uh, we can do it some other things here. For example, we can add more uh, columns. In this case, we can click and right click here and also insert column in the right side okay we can insert more columns in order to get more information for this report okay for example in this case we have report date we have server access number we have access rt status code we will uh, add more uh, columns here uh, for example this effective date uh, status description also something like uh, recent TLG code uh, recent enable and mm, total for example total count uh, also we will add a total number TLG account number okay and let's see what is uh, showing the report okay now we can see the information here also the status code, effective date, status description, uh, status uh, recent intelligence code, and some other things, okay? Okay, what can we do now? For example, in this case, we have a total count, and also we have account number, we have a server access number, uh, or maybe we have account status code, or report date, some other things. For example, if we need only uh, the date without the time, we can do it something here. Look at. Okay, let's see with the uh, status code, the status effective date. Yes, this one. Okay, let's click here, uh, right click here, and go to text box properties. Now we can go here to number and select in number the uh, the date. Okay, if you select the date, you can uh, select any of these in order to show for example this format 0131 uh, 2000 okay if i select this i will see the information without the timestamp okay uh, let's do it exactly the same thing here and in number go to number sorry go to date and select the format okay as you can see we have the values for uh, report date and also uh, what can we do? Okay, let me show you how to create a tab there in the uh, Power BI. Okay, this is only in order to show the the table or the information in uh, in the report. Now we can create, for example, a tab. Okay, uh, first of all, I need to explain what is the doing the uh, the tablets. Okay. We can select the tablets and let's see the properties. If you don't have the properties show here, we can go here to view and select this checkbox in order to show the, the properties here. Okay, then we have selected the, the, tab, the tablets or the table and then the name is tablets, okay? Uh, we can do it something. If you have only the, the, this information in the first, uh, in the first page, then or, or in the first tab, you can uh, keep it like, uh, for example, the, the, the name of the first tab. Um, let's do it like uh, report one, okay? I mean, let me, let me explain here in Excel what is doing in order to show you what is what will do the, the report. Okay, let me show you here. Okay, as you can see here, we have a, a report. Okay, if you like to see, for example, the report in some uh, tabs, uh, you will display the information here in this first and after uh, you can select the other one okay the name of the tablets can be uh, for example in instead of shed one deal this will uh, rename it like uh, for example report one report one okay but if for, for example if you have any other tab where is the uh, the graphic, for example, or any other information uh, related to the report here? Also, we can do it something like uh, rename this tab, and uh, for example, report 
to, okay? And we can do it that in Reaper Builder. Let me show you how. Okay, for example, if you have only the, the first tab, sorry, the first table here, uh, then you need to uh, show the second table and the, in the second row. We have two ways, okay? This way it's really easy, only you need to take the uh, the first tab or the, the first table, Control C, let me copy Control V in order to, to show you how. Uh, let's do something, let me delete some columns here in order to differentiate the uh, report that we don't need in the, uh, in the second tab, okay? Like this, and let me add some other thing. For example, let's add, I don't know, maybe um, this report end date. Okay, let me select this, and uh, let me go to text box properties. Text box properties, go to number, select date and select the same format okay now as you can see here we have this name it like a report okay page break uh, should be in, uh, instead of uh, false we need to select start okay this is because when the report starts it uh, will show the the first tab here okay the name of the first tab will be the report one Okay, the second one, okay, I mean, let me rename also here, here we need to rename like report one, okay? The second table, we need to do exactly the same thing like this, report two, then we need to rename report two, and also the page breaks will be at start. Okay, with these two steps, this information will show in the first tab and this other information will show in the second tab okay uh, let's do it and let's see what is happening okay then let me go here here to home and round okay as we can see we have now the report here let's go to the next page look at for example in this page we can see all the information for the first tab okay let me show you the second tab this is the second tab that uh, where we deleted some columns and we add this column, okay? Then, this is uh, the structure for the uh, paginated report. For example, in this case, we have uh, one tab for the report number one, this one, and one tab for the report number two. Uh, how can we see in Excel? We can go here to export, select the, the option, for example, here, Excel, and we will see this window where you will uh, save the, the name of that report, report test, for example. Report test, and we will uh, save in uh, in a folder that you know where is, the, where is the, the report. Let me save, and now let's open in order to see what is happening with that. Okay, file, open. And we need to search in the place that you have the, the values. Okay, here it's a report test, okay? Let me open. And as we can see, we have the report one test. This is paginated in the second tab, like is uh, report date something. And this other one is the report two, okay? Okay. Uh, what if we have more information, for example, like this? In this in this uh, report, we have the report one, and this is the name. And also, uh, for example, I think uh, we can do it something like this. No? Control C, Control B. And we can add some other things. Uh, for example, something like this, okay? We need the information like this, and we need to, to replace some information there in the in the report. Okay, let's do something. For example, a report one, something, a legend here, a note, something. Note. Uh, this report is a test. Okay. Okay. What, is, what if we need this information in the first tab? And also in the second tab, we can keep it like this, but also we need to add the, 
the report name, something like this, control C. Uh, insert copied files, sorry, control C. Let me uh, insert clear escape. Let me insert here. Now we cancel, uh, insert the, the cell that we copy, control C. Control B, something like this. Okay. Uh, imagine we have, we need that information in the second tab and the, this information in the first tab. Then we need to do something here. We need to go here again into the report, go to design, and instead of put the the page the page number here and also the page name, we will uh, replace this. Okay. The name for this need to be empty. Also, the page break is all be known. And this one, for example, we need to do exactly the same thing. Okay. Select this, delete the report name, the page name. Also, we need to delete the break location to known. Okay. With this, all this information will appear in the first tab. But we need the title. Also, we need this uh, table inside of this. And uh, we need the uh, text box where say something like note. This is something, okay? Note. And uh, this is a, a test report, okay? Well, we, we can select this, do it more biggest, and something like this. Okay, then we now now we need the dash information in the first tab and also we need the second information in the, in the second tab, okay? Let's do something. Let's move this. Now, uh, let's move this other also in order to get more chance to insert a uh, rectangle. How can we do that? Okay, let me move this to the other side. Let's insert a rectangle here. This is a rectangle. Then we need to uh, open like uh, the report. In this case, for example, like this. Also, let me do more biggest because the information should be inside of this rectangle. Okay, now we can select all that. Control X, select the rectangle where you are trying to insert the values and Control B. Okay, now we have the information inside of the rectangle, okay? Then with this, we can move all the rectangle to the uh, top and also we can copy this and pass below, okay? In order to have two rectangles here. And uh, let me advise you how to do the thing like we are trying to do. Let me delete this table. Let's do this other one and move to the correct side, okay? Now we have two reports. This is report one, this is report two, test, and also we have the values in the table. Now what can we do? It's, uh, let's continue in the next video because this uh, the, the time is finished. Let me continue in the next video.